New information coming into us, Will, from uh, Vouch Joyce Mitchell. Apparently, and vouch for uh, Richard Matt and David Sweat had vouched for them for several months, went as far as to giving baked goods to other guards at the prison to try and convince other guards that both of these inmates were good guys and could be trusted. We are also uh, hearing, Will, from a law enforcement source that Joyce Mitchell went as far as to going to prison officials to have David uh, Sweat's cell moved right next to uh, Richard Matz. Uh, all of this new information coming in as this intense manhunt is well underway. A law enforcement official tells CNN Richard Matt and David Sweat may have left behind personal items, including a pair of boots and what appears to be provisions they may have planned to take with them as they rushed out in a hurry. The manhunt now intensifying in that wooded area just 20 miles west of the prison. A source with knowledge of the investigation tells CNN that Mitchell passed tools used in the escape in a chunk of frozen hamburger meat. Mitchell asked a prison guard on the honor block to carry the meat into the prison and pass it to Richard Matt. This, as the husband of Joyce Mitchell, the prison employee accused of helping Matt and Sweat escape, is speaking out for the first time, telling NBC's Today Show that they planned on killing him to help make their escape go smoothly. She told me that Matt wanted her to pick him up. And she said, well, I never leave nowhere without Lyle, never. And uh, he said, well, I'll give you some pills to, to give him to knock him out and then we'll, and you come pick us up. She said, I can't do this. And then she told me he started threatening her with somebody inside the facilities was gonna do something to me to harm me or kill me or somebody outside the jail if she didn't stay with this. Had she picked them up, he does not think she would have survived. She would have been dead within half an hour, I figure. She would just uh, get away. They were going to kill her, they were, and all they wanted was that vehicle. And Lyle Mitchell denying reports that his wife had a sexual relationship with either of the inmates. She Question. swore in her son's life and her son is evident, but I never, ever had sex with him. And new video today obtained by ABC News offers some insight into the mindset of Richard Matt. It shows him in 1997 smiling and posing with a blowgun. Dip these in aid blood, AIDS blood, and we'll put a patent on them. We'll sell them as deadly weapon. The blowgun is then fired into his arm. This video taken nine months before he then murdered and dismembered his own boss, putting Matt behind bars. And a little bit more information, Wolf, if I may, about uh, that uh, big chunk of meat that was passed on to Richard Matt. Apparently, uh, Joyce Mitchell convinced a prison guard there by the name of uh, Gene Palmer to pass that meat on uh, to Richard Matt. It did not go through a metal detector, a violation of prison policy. I did speak to Palmer's attorney several times, spoke to him at length about everything that had gone on and about the allegations. He said that his client did not know what was inside that frozen meat, and he said his client did not know about any escape plans. We can also tell you that, that the New York State uh, Inspector General is now looking into uh, the correctional facility, trying to find out everything that went on before the escape.